Hello, this is Gene with Unmet Style. I'm here with Chris Coyer of uh, CSS Tricks. Howdy. What's up? Hey. Well, we, uh, we love CSS Tricks. I really like the new design. Thank and, you. Uh, wanted to get you on to talk about your design and what you did and why you did it. Okay. Uh, well, first off, I noticed this is, uh, you had a one right before this, right? And it like only lasted a month. Oh, <laughs> was it only a month? Yeah, it's, it's a bit random. I don't have like a, a set schedule of when I redesign it. I just like, I'm like, you know, it's I'm inspired stress. by something small or happen to have a little extra free time, which was the case in this okay. one. And, and just, you know, threw some stuff together and it usually kind of snowballs, you know, uh, right. uh, you like, you do one little thing and you're like, I'm just going to tinker with this, but I am not going to do a full redesign. I do not have time for this right now. Two weeks and later, then, you're like, yeah, you're like pushing it. it before it's ready. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's cool. Uh, well, the first thing I noticed, I don't remember about the iteration before this, but one thing I noticed on this, uh, you're using uh, media queries, I think, to do the, the resizing for the, uh, the smaller screens and stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that something you just wanted to try? Just to... Yeah, it's kind of both. I mean, they, there's no denying that they're kind of like hip right now or whatever. There's right. blog posts galore about yeah. them and everything, but uh, they solve a very real problem, so they're very worth using. Uh, uh, the problem being, uh, for me, you want to go wide. You want to just go wide on web designs because it's cool. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. There's just more breathing room. More and more people have bigger uh, right. monitors, so it, it's cool to go wide. But man, if you go like above 1024 or whatever, and 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 it's a static width design, and people get horizontal scroll bars, you're gonna hear about it. People right. are people are not gonna be happy, and rightfully so. It sucks to horizontally scroll. So the very real problem that they solve is you can go as wide as you want. And just write a media query that deals with the case of browsers being under 1024. You're not then those people are happy. People with bigger monitors are happy, and you know now then you have experience using them, so you right. can you can go ahead and make your mobile style sheet right there and whatever. It's kind of infectious. Once you write one little rule, you're like, I'm gonna write <laughs> ten little rules. Yeah, yeah, it works really well on the small screens too. I, I really dig the way you, you pulled that off. Um, well, the, I'm looking at the the main navigation there and uh, how you have the like the mouse over state it actually kind of changes the size of it a little bit. How did you pull that off? Oh, man, I tried a bunch of different things. Well, for one thing, it's kind of funny. This is that's, that's like the most universally disliked portion really? of, of the site is the wow. yeah, and I don't, I'm not sure why. I really like that part. It's a it's it's usually pretty visceral. People are just like. I like your design, but not that, or something. And I'm like, why? And you know, the, I've gotten very few specific reasons as to why. Right. And I'm like, it doesn't, it doesn't really make it harder to click. In fact, the area yeah. kind of grows, so theoretically, it's kind of easier to click. Right. There's some, um, but I'm not sure. Okay, but mm. besides that, how is it done technically? There's a bunch of different ways you could do it. One of them being that um, CSS3 has that new flexible box model right. where you can just declare. Uh, some you know you like this this area has five boxes on it. Please make them as wide as it will fit, right. which is a super great. And I had no problem with using it because you can you can write it in such a way that will degrade fairly nicely for browsers that don't support it and that type of thing. Um, and then one thing you do is make a hover state, like force one of them to be smaller, and and if you give it a transition property, and we're getting a little geeky here, but it will make like an accordion-like structure right. using the, the that technology. And I thought it was neat, and I tried it, and it it works, but I don't know if you've ever seen any other demos of this. For, for whatever reason, when you combine all those things together, it ends up being a little choppy. Mm -hmm. I mean, even on my like big desktop machine and right, right. Uh, uh, whatever, just the animations weren't very smooth, and I wasn't digging it. And then I was like, you know what, maybe I'll just make this work with all browsers, and I'll use jQuery animations, which would just be a matter of wait for a hover event, and you know when that happens, Make the make this one wider, make the rest of them smaller, and yeah, yeah, and uh, that was fine. And then I'm like, yeah, but this site is CSS tricks, so uh, CSS. I ended up just doing it with uh, <laughs> with just literally transitions and, okay. and 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 CSS. So that's how it works. One little kind of interesting bit there is that 
So there's five things. For people that right. can't see it, I don't know if you're going to be looking at the site or not, yeah. but there's there's five links, and they're all horizontally in a bar. And as you roll over one of them, it kind of expands, and the other ones get smaller to make room for the now larger one. Right. And so there's four different menu items that are all getting smaller at the same time while one is getting wider. And, and just because of how animations work on the web or whatever – the smallening happens faster than the beginning, because mm. four times faster, because there's four of them. So if you'll notice, like I don't know if you roll over one, yeah. the the far right one will kind of scoot in a little faster before it kind of settles. And I had to put like a gr- the le- the one on the far right is green, and I had to put a green background behind that navigation. Ah. Otherwise, the whole thing gets yeah, a little okay. wobbly. So it's just a little trick to get it to give it a little bit of stability as you're rolling over that. Right. That right edge stays static just by wager of the green background behind it. Right. Anyway, that was kind of fun. That's interesting. Um, yeah, see that that's my f- I like that the most about it. I was like, wow, I've never seen a nav that change size horizontally like that you know it's always uh, vertical or just colors you should look at the css is actually larger than you might think it is because there's lots of different possibilities Ah, of of what can happen there and and what happens on active states right blah blah it was fun the other the other piece uh is is really these ads um this is my other favorite (laughs) part of the the page here you've got that little uh transforming shape in the background it's like an animated leaf shape yeah, it's a ads. Why, why did you why did you do that? Was it just uh, a whim or? There's all. I mean, it's just one of those. So what's happening there is you know you when you apply border radius to something, uh, you know people think of it as just a way to make a rounded corner box, and that's absolutely fine. That's what you can do with it. But there's more. You know, you can choose to only round certain corners of a box. So that's what's going on here. Is the top right and bottom left have no border radius at all, and the top left and bottom right have a lot of border radius, mm-hmm. and it ends up making kind of a unique shape, something that you wouldn't. You might think of you need an image to make, or that you just won't don't associate that shape with CSS. You know, so it's just kind of clever. The site is CSS tricks, so I just. Absolutely. You know, as many as you can, and the and it's something that you don't normally associate with being animated. Right. You know, like, oh, totally. Why would you animate a border radius? But you can, so I did. You know. Has it, has it helped? I mean, can you? I don't know. I think you're using buy sell ads for your ad yeah. management, but have you? Can you tell if there's a, a click increase on doing that? <laughs> I should of- check. I bet there's a rollover increase if you could track well, that. I, I, the, from a design standpoint, when I saw yeah. that, I was like, that's really clever for drawing attention to the ads. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, like, I don't get paid by click. You know, it's by uh, yeah, selling. I know. That's why I was uh, But But if, you know, the more people click, the more likely that they are to keep their ads. So that's yeah. cool. And I never have a problem filling them up, which is good. That's I wonder good. if there is. I should look at the date of the of the redesign and then just see if there was any kind yeah. of increase at all. I wouldn't doubt that there is. I didn't necessarily do it to <laughs> right. for that reason, but, you know, that would be a decent side effect, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, that's what I noticed and I thought, that's really clever to, to draw. Because all I do is I mouse, I mouse over the ads a lot and I'm like, hey, that's neat. <laughs> I know it's fun. It's just in a way to make so, yeah. uh, something that can, you know. Here's another thing about these ads. You you know you try and think of a color scheme for your site, and you're like, I'm gonna go with with this or this or whatever. And then if you have ads on your site, it's such a huge design consideration because. You know, you know what you should do when you're in Photoshop too. Here's a hot tip: pick the ugliest, nastiest colors you can <laughs> think of. Not, not. I'm not trying to offend any of these particular advertisers, but whatever people end up advertising your site, it's not going to go with the color scheme that you you chose with it. So this was a way to kind of like put my own color scheme over there with right. such bold colors that whatever ads go in there, it's, gonna it's just going to look like a friggin' rainbow. It's right, not right. going to it's not going to uh, right. interfere. I feel like these ads kind of because of those strong colors behind them interfere less with yeah. yeah. Well, one of them I'm looking at literally has a rainbow in it, you know, like, like how <laughs> right. can you compete with that? Well, the other, uh, you have some other like transforms and stuff on here where it's like flipping around, uh, you know, ads and images and things like that. But I specifically wanted to ask you about the stuff in the footer, the way you did that. And I know you wrote a, you wrote an article about how you, you were kind of playing with that or you put it out for uh, code to grab or something like that, I think. But um, just quickly, if you can, how'd you... How did you kind of pull off that that rollover animation? 
Um, um, it's another it. one of those things that's just it's CSS transitions. So right. If you you know for the people at home, this particular um, animation that we're talking about is these kind of like just gray boxes, mm -hmm. and you roll over them and they turn some really bold color. Uh, uh, it be, en ends up becoming kind of a knockout. Most of them, it's kind of a light color on a dark color, and then a logo slides in from the left. And all that is is that each one of these boxes has a background image, but in its default state, that icon has a background position that that places that icon outside of the box. You can't see it oh, at all. Okay. And then uh, the background, I adjust the background position on rollover, and because you, I just put the transition property on these boxes, it makes that slide in, makes it slide in rather than appear. Right. And what's cool then is that on browsers that don't support transitions, that the background position still changes with the CSS. So instead of it sliding in, it just is instantaneously there. Okay. So and because over. the background image is part of the regular state of it, it, it doesn't have to load either. They're 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 kind of right, right. loaded in the background. Anyway, so I I think that's you know it's just a little yeah, it's a little clever little design. Well that's the thing all. is the reason I wanted to, to talk through all these things with you is that uh, with your site in particular it's you know you yep. can pull this stuff off and it's really they're really, you know, kind of simple tricks, right? You've just employed them in a way that's like unique to look uh -huh. at. And you can really go far with this stuff um, if you just play around with it. Right. That I mean, that's kind of my bag. I'm, yeah. you know, I, 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 uh, especially on a site like this. So some criticisms might be like, man, there are so many little different rollovers here. Is this really good for usability or whatever? There's so many different things going on. I'm like, maybe you could argue that there's too much going on here. But you know what? The site is called CSS Tricks. Right, you know, if there's right. any site in the world where that's right. it's maybe a little okay to go a little overboard with different styles of rollovers and one. have a little fun with CSS, it's this one. So yeah. that's what, what I'm, what I'm kind of going to. for. And it is simple. None of this stuff yeah. is, is, is a hundred lines of fancy JavaScript that nobody could understand. It's just rollovers you know everyone yeah, can understand that well i have a couple more questions for you uh, about the, the as not so much the business of running your site but some of the the decisions you made and things you've done uh in particular uh i wanted to know about um one your forum and how how that's running for you and two um if the cdn you're using that for content content distribution if you yeah. mind me asking about that what Indeed. what is what is that and, and why are you distributing your content that way. Um, okay, well, yeah. So, if you are curious about the specific one I use, you can see in the sidebar there's a little section called services I mm -hmm. like, and it's called Net DNA, and you yeah. can click on that. They actually emailed me a while back. Um, you know, who knows, a year ago, and it's just one of those things. You know, the kind of the benefits of running a popular site. Mm -hmm. Sometimes services are willing to kind of offer their services to you free for right, the yeah. for the link, and I was like. I don't know. This sounds complicated. I'm not really a server dude. <laughs> right. I don't really know how to do a CDN or whatever. Right. Turns out it's really it's pretty easy, specifically with WordPress. So what it is is they're a company that's uh, they're not like web hosting, but they end up you know what they do is like just serve files, and they have mm -hmm. servers all over the world. And uh, what happens is your your files end up on those servers all over the world. So if somebody in Japan ends up requesting your site, it's going to end up being served from a server that's specifically designed to be super fast and f literally physically close to Japan probably right, right, right. and serve them the file faster than it could from California or whatever. Okay. So that's the idea of what a CDN is. The reason that I, you know, at the same time I was I was working on the performance of the site because right. you know it gets enough visitors and stuff, but it's important. It's, plus, it's just interesting to yeah, work yeah. on the 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 performance of your site and just trying to you know get down to that like sub one second page <laughs> load speed and all that. It's kind of a fun thing to nerd out on. I was using a WordPress plugin called, and I still use. Um, W3 Total Cache. Okay. So it's just a plugin you can drop into a WordPress site and it takes a little configuration or, or whatever, and it and it it does all the like database caching and page mm -hmm. caching and you know it does all these fancy things to speed up your site. And it happens to have integration with 
uh, CDN. So you just give it a little bit of information about your net DNA account or whatever CDN you happen to be using, and it just automatically works. So what happens oh, okay. is, uh, if you um, you know if there's no cache happening at all and your page loads, it will look at all the different resources. Uh, like your images, your JavaScript, your CSS files, the plugin does the work of like combining those things. So if it loads, if you load like five JavaScript files, it'll press them all into one and and put mm. them in. And then it also puts it on the CDN for you and changes the URL that the browser loads to, like cdn.cssstricks.com slash whatever, and then that file gets served from the CDN instead of my web hosting. So uh, the plugin okay. just kind of does all the work and, 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 and ends up serving a lot of the resources from the site from that right. CDN, which makes it fast. So right. It is really it's, responsive. Yeah, I, uh, I encourage people to, to go the CDN rather than can afford it. It's cheaper than you think, too. It's like, okay. you know, yeah. I mean, I, you know, like I said, I, I don't pay for it. I'm fortunate that way, but I would if I didn't because it's, wow. not, it's not, that, not that expensive wow, and it, it really does speed up the site. Right. Well, uh, the final question here was about your forum. I know you, uh, you recently launched forums on your site, right? Like a couple months ago? Uh, no, no, that's not right, actually. Or did you change? Did you it's change? been, yeah, I changed okay, them. Uh, I was on PHP BB for a long time, which is pretty popular, uh, and have a look that, like, you, you've seen them before, right. if you've seen these forums. Um, and they were fine, really. I don't, like, hate PHP BB, but they were very spam prone, and they just, I don't know. I, you know, there was I, it was hard to get myself back in that mindset. But there's a yeah. lot of reasons I wanted to get away right, from them right. in, into something new. Actually, at Wufu, I work for Wufu. We uh, wanted to switch our forums to something even older and crazier, and we picked vanilla and implemented the forums right. uh, at 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 Wufu with vanilla, and it looked great. And I liked styling them, and I liked the whole okay. idea yeah. of them. So I chose vanilla for CSS tricks too, and it was it wasn't too hard of a conversion and. Uh, and so now I'm on, on vanilla, and it's been much better. It's better for spam. They look better. I'm just I'm just happier with it in general. Yeah, I was. I, I thought you had said you were, you'd switch to vanilla, or you yeah. launched a new vanilla form or something like that. But totally encourage anybody to check out vanilla. They they've been responsive to our needs, and I even wow. like I hired a company to write some special plugins for me. So I've had a bunch of good experiences. One of the things that I wanted to I like to mention about the forums is if you like so if you click on home on CSS tricks and you know it looks like that, and then you click on forums, right. you see that that it's the same design. It, yeah. Like it it really works out well that way. It's not it doesn't look like you've entered a new universe of a site. It right. just kind of the red color kind of takes over and uh and uh I just it's just a simple trick that I've learned over the years or whatever is just use the same CSS file. So the mm -hmm. same CSS file I use in my content management system WordPress that sets up the structure and the fonts and, and all that type of stuff. I just link to it from WordPress and I link to it from vanilla and then Wow. It's not a matter of trying to tinker to get them to look right. exactly the same. You right. have to tinker to get them to look different because it's the right. same. It's yeah. the same CSS file. Wow. So that you know. Anyway, that's a that's a hot tip if you're trying to kind of combine two softwares, which that's you know you find tip. yourself in that world once in a while. At least I did when yeah. I was. That's a good tip. Well, uh, thank you so much for talking through that. Um, I could talk to you all day uh, about. <laughs> nerd, we just nerd out about your website. Yeah, and hopefully that was wasn't too nerdy, but oh, I fear. The unmatched style audience are a bunch of nerds, right? <laughs> well, we are. But I really appreciate it. And uh, maybe we can get you back soon to talk about something else. All right. Thanks, Gene. Thank you.